hi hello everyone welcome to the automation on your youtube channel in today's video i will show you how to establish communication between a siemens vfd and a siemens plc for this project i have used the following software and hardware to make everything work successfully the software used is ta portal v15.1 update 8 the plc hardware is s7200 the hmi is ktp400 basic and the VFD is from the Synamix G120 family. Detailed information about the software and hardware, including model numbers, article numbers, and version numbers, is mentioned in the video description below. But before we start, please support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Okay, let's get started. First, open the TA portal software. Here is the project. I created in my previous video you can see that the plc and hmi are already added to the project if you don't know how to add the plc and hmi please watch my previous videos the link is in the video description below as i mentioned earlier the hmi and plc are added to the project now we will add the siemens vfd to the project double click on the add new device click on the drives here you select the Synamix G120 which I have. If you have another uh, product family, please select it accordingly. Then you click the control units and select the model number that you bought. Mine is to CU240E to PN. And here you can verify your article number and also verify your version number as well. So here is mine is 4.7.10. Then finally you click okay now you can see the control unit is added next we need to select the power unit for this vfd click on the power units choose the particular model that you bought mine is pm242 and then here you can select is a single phase or three phase mine is three phase and 400 volt so i select here and this the fsa is mine and 2.2 kilowatt so you can double click it so that the power unit will add it to the project alternatively you can just copy and paste your article number here then it will select automatically then you can drag and drop it to here so now we have added the drive into the project so now we switch to network view and click on the profinet port and then connect to the plc profinet port so now you can see that the plc is connected to the siemens vfd and the ip address you can see 192.168.0.1 is added automatically if you want to change the ip address you can change it please watch my previous videos how to change the ip address how to assign the ip address for the plc and vfds we have completed adding plc hmi and drive into the project now we will move on to the plc program blocks and then we will add some blocks to establish the communication between the plc and dynamics vfd let's click on plc and click on program blocks and open main blocks main ob so here we need to add some blocks which it goes to the library click on drive library click on the master copies and then click on the synamix then you click on Sina speed then you drag and drop here then click ok it will create a data block instant data block the next one is click on the Sina para and then drag and drop here so it will create another instant db now we have added two dbs here we will configure the inputs and outputs for the blocks this enable axis is the start command for the drive so you can see here we already created a start command from here so this is the motor on is the start command for us so we can link it here motor on this is the start command and the next thing is acknowledge the error reset error right click and define tag and go to global memory and then click 
okay the address will uh, send automatically if you want to change you can click here and then you can change the address but for now i will keep it with that define next one is the speed set point we will assign the speed set point for the motor see speed set point right click define tag global memory define the next one is the reference speed so you need to set the reference speed for the motor you can look at your motor uh, nameplate and then you can set the motor sp uh, reference speed this is i will set 1500 because my motor reference speed is 1500 the next one is the vfd id so click here click on here and then you you look for the tele telegram this is the one is the id so you click it so just copy and paste it for here as well and then also you can copy and paste here as well okay now we will assign the outputs when the drive is enabled then you can here get the output drive underscore enabled click on the global memory and define so whenever the drive is enabled then you can get the output here from here you can see that the drive is running or not the next thing is lockout drive underscore lockout define tag global memory click define this actual velocity which means is actual speed of the drive drive underscore actual speed error drive underscore active active error so you can read the active errors from this output next one is drive status Here okay, now we have configured the Synos speed uh, data block and then we next goes to the parameter block. This Synos param, uh, parameter block to read and write the parameter value. This Synos para block you need to execute continuously to read the value or write the value of the VFD. So for now we are going to use this block to read the value from the uh, VFD. So how many parameters that you want to read, you can key in here. So the, the maximum number of parameters that you can read and write one time is 16. So now I'm going to read only one parameter. So I can key in one. A read and write, a read means a zero, write means one, that we are going to use this para block to read the value from the VFD. So I can leave it with the zero. So for need to start this block, you need to assign some input here to continuously execute the block. For this, it goes to the, we'll use the clock memory to read the value from the para block. So click on the PLC, go to the properties, click on the system clock memory and enable it. So you can assign the address for this, I use 100. For the clock memory, I will use 200. So I'll click. Okay, we click assign clock memory. 
so i'll assign is a clock to have two heads so every two heads and block will be executed to read the value from the vfd so now we need to set which parameter that we want to read for this you need to go to the synapse speed db and go all the way to the parameter click there is a 16 parameters here the first parameter that i want to read is 27 which is the motor current so this one is zero and this one zero not zero same as this one is zero go to the main ob okay now we will read the value and then display to the um, hmi section for that we need to move the value from here to another data block so i will use a move block Sina Sina Bara DB click here and then go to the parameter six parameter one and then go to the SA value read value. Then we can move this value to motor underscore actual current right click and define that click on the global memory okay define so finally we have done here with the snap speed and snap parameter then okay, we will move to the hmi section to create some graphics to display the values and starts up the vfd from the HMI section. Go to the screen and click on the root screen. Okay, as you can see, I have already created the start stop uh, buttons and then the indication for the drive running. So we will add the uh, speed set point and actual speed and actual current uh, graphics for to display in the HMI. For this, you click on the IO field, click drag and drop. And then right click it, go to the properties, click on this, and go to the PLC tags. So we will default tag table and go to the speed set point. Click on the speed set point, click OK. This actually a speed set point is a input, so you can click as a input. The decimal point that we can set here is just four point that's enough for us to key in the numbers just copy and paste it for to display the actual speed click on this and go to the plc tax default tag table and drive actual speed click ok and copy and paste it for to display the actual current click on this go to the plc tags and go to the default tag table motor actual current okay click here and click okay we are displaying the output from the vfd so we can click it the output current you can display it with the two decimal point this one also is output okay just copy and paste and then speed set point actual speed actual current okay we have done this part and then we double check with the start button click on the start button go to event and then as soon as hmi start so from the hmi we will create a start 
and then this one is the stop button and this one is the go to the animation and then click on this here you need to select go to the plc tags and then default tag table then the drive enable okay click on the drive enable and then click okay when the drive is in a running then it will show the green color okay that's all for now in the next video we will download the configuration to the plc hmi and vfd and then we will proceed with the commissioning of the vfd after the commissioning we will start and stop the motor from the hmi and we will be able to vary the speed of the vfd okay that's all for today thank you for watching my videos please support my channel by liking sharing and subscribing